Well, hello friends. How is everyone today? Today's project, we are going to make a jellyfish. The fun part about this project is there are so many different ways you can make your jellyfish. You are going to need a paper plate, a hole puncher, some paint, and some ribbon or um, yarn or any type of string uh, to, to make its little tentacles. So the first thing you need to do is you will need to cut your paper plate in half. So with your paper plate, take some scissors and go ahead and cut it in half. You can make it a little longer if it doesn't have to be exactly right in half. Now with this, you're going to paint uh, your jellyfish. So make sure you have something old on or something covering your clothes and cover up your table so that there is no paint mess. Um, with this men, you can make it any color you want. What I'd love to see is if you can make it a bunch of different colors together and kind of blend them together. So maybe pick two or three colors and blend them together. When I did mine, I used pinks and purples and reds and see how they kind of all blended together. And it looks something like this. That will need to then sit and dry. Once it's done drying, you're going to take your hole punch and you're going to punch holes all along the bottom. You're going to tie string through these holes to make its tentacles. So as you punch along the holes here, you're also going to make two hole punches, this just like that. You're going to make two hole punches at the top. This is so you can hang it. So two hole punches at the top. So when you're all done punching your holes, it should look something like this. Now, you're going to cut ribbon or string. So you can use this type of ribbon like you used for birthday presents. Um, in different colors, or you can use cloth ribbon. You can use all one color, or you can use multiple colors. I would say if you have a piece of paper, like so, measure it and see if you can make it about the length of your piece of paper here and then you can cut those and cut as many as you have holes. So each one will need at least one ribbon tied to it. Once you have your ribbon cut, you're going to fish it through the hole like that. And then you may need an adult to help you. And you're just going to tie it like so. And you might want to tie it two times so that it stays on. And double knot that, kind of like your shoelaces. And then go the whole way across with that. Once you are all done tying your ribbons on and adding a ribbon to the top, your jellyfish will look something like this. If you'd like, you can make a face on your jellyfish um, and you can um, or you can add Google eyes, um, whatever you'd like. I'm going to put a little face on mine. And mine is going to look something like this. And there you go. I can't see, wait to see all the different types of jellyfish that you guys come up with. Have a great day.